Hello and welcome to Pregnancy Info. Today we are going to discuss almost 15 signs of healthy pregnancy. What are the signs of healthy pregnancy? A healthy mother is more likely to have a healthy baby and taking good care of your body is a good way to give birth to a healthy baby. If you are pregnant, you must secure good antenatal care to preserve your health and that of your beloved developing baby. The healthy baby could have the signs number one, consistent growth patterns. Good growth and development is the surest manner to keep track that your fetus is developing into a healthy baby. Having regular antenatal care helps your healthcare practitioner to plot your baby's development and ensure that growth milestones are being achieved. On average, a fetus can be expected to grow at a rate of about 2 inches per month. Generally, the average baby weighs around 3 kg at the time of birth, but this figure is very dependent on the baby's genetic. Number 2. Maternal Weight Gain Attached to the development of the fetus is the weight gain and belly growth of the mother. At each antenatal appointment, your general practitioners will take your weight and measure the growth of your belly. Number 3. Fetal Movement Your baby's movement can usually be felt from about 5 months or 20 weeks and after sometimes you will start to notice a pattern to the movement. Your baby's first movements are referred to medically as fetal quickening. By the age of 6 months, your baby will respond to sounds by movements and by the time or he or she is 7 months old, he or she will respond to other stimuli such as light, pain or sound. By the time the baby has reached 8 months of age, he or she will have moved positions and will be kicking much more actively. As your pregnancy approaches full term and the space in the womb is more restricted to your baby, will move less simply because he is running out of room to do it. Next, fetal heartbeat. Another measure of a healthy pregnancy that will be taken consistently at your antenatal appointments is your baby's heartbeat. Fetal heartbeats can be heard from the fifth week of pregnancy and will range from approximately 100 to 160 beats a minute. Your healthcare provider may perform a non-stress test to elevate whether your baby has a healthy heartbeat at a later stage of your pregnancy. Fetal Position During the last month of pregnancy, your baby moves into a head-first position as he or she gets ready for labor and delivery. Sore and enlarged breasts Early in the first trimester, blame your tender breasts on arising levels of estrogen and progesterone. Sure, the surge of hormones make your chest feel heavy and sore, but it's also an indication that your body is adapting well to the pregnancy. Increased vaginal discharge Throughout pregnancy, noticing more wetness down there these days, you are not alone. Lots of women see an uptick in watery, clear, odorless discharge during pregnancy. The culprit is an increase in estrogen. Besides being a sign of a healthy pregnancy, the extra discharge is thought to help cleanse the vagina and even prevent infections from entering the womb. Morning sickness. Usually in the first trimester, though, fighting of waves of nausea for weeks can be downright debilitating. Morning sickness is considered part of a healthy pregnancy. No one knows the exact reason behind the queasiness, but experts believe rapid rise in the human HCG or chorionic gonadotrophin hormone could be to blame. Sugar level or blood pressure. The first way to make sure that your pregnancy is healthy is by keeping your blood pressure and blood sugar level in check. In fact, the decision to get pregnant should be immediately followed by checking your blood pressure and the level of sugar in your blood. You should follow up on these in all the trimesters. This is because during pregnancy the levels fluctuate. It is very common for pregnant women to experience high blood pressure during pregnancy. However, if the spike in level is sudden and very high, it can lead to a condition called preeclampsia. This is a severe condition and may even arise the need to be go for a preterm labor. The placenta's position. For a pregnancy to be successful and not end in the serious condition of miscarriage, it is vital for the placenta to stay inside the uterus and attach to it till the end of pregnancy. This is very crucial because 
If the placenta is detached prematurely, it can lead to termination of the pregnancy. For this, the uterus as well as the placenta of the mother should be healthy. The levels of progesterone and estrogen. These two are the vital hormones of pregnancy. Their optimal amount in your body will determine if you have a healthy pregnancy or not. The role of both these hormones are as described here. Progesterone. When a female is pregnant, she produces 20 times more progesterone than a healthy non-pregnant woman. That is, in pregnancy, your body produces 400 mg of progesterone as compared to 20 mg, which is a healthy non-pregnant woman produce. The hormone is required to keep the menstruation away by setting up the endometrium. Estrogen. This hormone is needed for the growth of the uterus from 60 grams before pregnancy to 1200 grams during the pregnancy. Pregnancy fatigue. During the first trimester of pregnancy, many other people in the first trimester likely feel the same as anyone can. Get ready for mind afternoon naps and 7 pm bedtime advises. During the first trimester, your body will be exhausted. There is a tremendous amount of metabolic work that is occurring and you will need lots of rest. So even if you want to keep up your regular routine, don't try to fight the pregnancy fatigue. Just listen to your body and rest when you feel like you need it. You are constipated. Pregnancy sure can plug you up in all the wrong ways if you are having Pooping problems, you can thank pregnancy hormones. The miracle drug progesterone that supports your growing bundle of joy also slows the motility of your colon and balls. As a result, you might find yourself spending more time sitting on the toilet. If your constipation is problematic, you should speak to your ob about it. But usually, stay hydrated and pink your fiber intake should get things moving again. You don't have any symptoms when you spot it. Those two little lines on the pregnancy stick, you prepared yourself for the onslaught of symptoms that you imagined would occur and then nothing, not to worry. Though sometimes no signs are the best sign. You may feel great and that is okay and is also a sign for a healthy pregnancy. If everything is confirmed normal with the pregnancy, then consider yourself lucky. Other than that, one thing is more important, which is the amniotic fluid level. If you have less or more level than the required, then it's not good for your pregnancy. So, if the level is on the standard level, then you should be happy because it is also a sign of healthy pregnancy. So, this is all about the signs of healthy pregnancy. Hope you have enjoyed the video and find it useful. Like it. Share it and also subscribe our channel. Thank you.